Hello, good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm back and I'm gonna be doing a video that some people have actually requested and I was a bit like skeptical to do it because I didn't know how it would make me feel but I feel like I'm in a place where I'm ready to do it now. So today I'm gonna watch my old anorexia recovery TikToks back. I haven't seen these, like I haven't watched them back since I made them really because I don't really watch myself back. Sometimes it just makes me a bit uncomfortable and I just don't like it. So um, I haven't really looked at them. I also stopped posting on TikTok over a year ago now. I basically just left because it was really toxic. I was getting hate from people that didn't want to see my videos because obviously the algorithm just puts you on people's for you pages and stuff and they were just being horrible to me and like telling me to just eat and get over myself and do I want a medal and it was constant and I was just like yeah this is not helping me right now I'm not in a good mental space and I don't need this so I just cut TikTok out. Also I just felt like I had so much more to say than I could say in like a 30, th was it even 30 seconds then or was it a minute? I think it was a minute. Yeah like I, my whole aim was to help people not to be like some kind of TikTok sensation so I was just like I'm just gonna pack up and move to YouTube so that's effectively what I did and now I'm here but I did have some viral TikToks which I always feel weirdly cocky saying but then at the same time it is just like a fact like some of my TikToks had nearly well they had millions of views I have nearly 10 million likes on TikTok so it was a thing I do just want to give a little warning before this video starts that this could be kind of a sensitive topic for some of you and although I'm not gonna you know show you like an unwell body the things i'm talking about and my face and stuff are from when i was unwell so just be mindful if this isn't your sort of video please click off i've got so many other videos to watch but yeah so my very first tiktok is all in anorexia recovery challenging fear foods with me and like right from the get-go i don't look like me i do not look like myself hi i'm ro and i recently chose to i had not figured out voiceovers i was like breathing into the, <laughs> into the microphone um, oh, it's my dog. I thought I'd show you that it's never too early to do it. It's me freaking out because avocado for lunch. Avocado is one of my biggest fears, but it opens up. That's insane. I literally just said avocado is one of my biggest fears. Like, avocado, I completely forgot like how absolutely terrifying that was to me because obviously I've been eating it since what? Yeah, I think I filmed this on the 1st of January 2021, so well over a year ago now. And I've been eating avocado since and it's just not scary to me anymore. But uh, like even looking back now, like avocado, like I know people say it has like fats in it, but they're not even fats that are demonized by diet culture. So it's literally just the word fat in my head that was making that scary to me, which is kind of insane. So many options if I can eat it. Bread. Bread is scary. Bread. Bread is scary. No, no it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's literally just, it's just a carb and carbs aren't scary. Like, I wish I could go back to me like a year ago and be like, listen, like, this will gonna get so much easier. Like, but there's nothing scary about bread. There's nothing scary about it. I'm currently refeeding, so I won't share everything I eat, but I just wanted to show you that you can face your fears. The wrong facts, you can face your fears. The longer you put them off, the harder they get. And there's no too soon in recovery. It was my first full lunch and it was so scary but I finished it all and I even took normal bites. Then I did some painting to distract myself because my brain was going crazy. And I cried for a few hours, which is okay, recovery's hard. Is my dog supporting me before I was going to tackle olive oil? I haven't cooked with olive oil in years. Me measuring out a teaspoon of olive oil and being like, wow, this is scary. What? What? I still get a bit anxious about, um, like unmeasured oil but again i think that's because i was like measuring it by the teaspoon like you don't need to do that like oil is not scary oil is what you need to cook things and it was so scary and i cried a lot but i did it all and i finished it and i'm just so proud of myself because i never thought i could i remember having an absolute meltdown over that sausage thing i invented it was like rice and what is it rice and rice and sausages or something yeah i remember like having a actual meltdown and like crying to my parents and I was like I can't do it I'm so full I'm so full and it wasn't even a full portion but like I was so early on in my recovery there but like I think you can see in my eyes just how kind of hard I found it which is kind of heartbreaking that meal doesn't even look appealing to me whatsoever anymore it just looks strange in all honesty the next one I, this this is the first one that went viral of mine and actually like attracted people to my account and it was this morning I gained weight for the first time by myself out of hospital. This morning I gained weight for the first time by myself out of hospital. My head was screaming at me not to eat breakfast so I went and got my weight. I remember genuinely struggling so much that morning. Like it makes me kind of 
like feel weird to talk about but I remember like when I think when I first was in like recovery and refeeding my body let a lot go and I lost a lot of water retention and stuff like that and my weight didn't really go up to start with and I remember the absolute like pang to the stomach that I felt when I saw my weight go up and I think that was one of the biggest like moments in my recovery was choosing to eat even with the like guilt that I felt from that. Lisa books and I poured my milk on. You don't have to compensate just because the number on the scale went up. Everything in me was saying not to do it. If your body's gaining weight, it's because it needs to. This time of year makes me feel so strange inside. It's like a really weird nostalgia and I felt it this year because I remembered so clearly what my last winter had been like and like it's it's so strange like I remember waking up at like 6am every day and being starving and going and eating my Weetabix and like the meal plan increases like it's oh it's so weird to me then had one with 375,000 views challenging six fear foods in one meal still rate this still absolutely bangs I ate it in like I ate it like two videos ago didn't I except wait hi I'm Ro I'm in all-in anorexia recovery and this is me facing six fears in one meal I was so shaky, but it's a chickpea tuna sandwich. I know I have to jump in and face all my fears. It's so scary, but I'm doing it. I chopped some pepper, onion granules and mustard, full fat dairy natural yogurt, freaking out because I haven't allowed myself stuff like this in so long. I genuinely prefer non-dairy, but- I don't think twice about that anymore. I, j I, I literally don't think twice about it. I don't want to be restricted. It was so creamy. Now this is big for me full fat olive spread i haven't allowed myself sandwiches in so long my heart is like breaking for like me a year ago but also like making me want to just like give her a hug and be like it's gonna be fine let alone putting spread on it that's something that i haven't done in years my mom helped me get the measurement right because i didn't want to skimp out spread was normal for me pre ed so i knew i had to face it here's me shaking it took me a while but I took the first bite. I'm gonna like, these are all different little like challenge ones. So when I finally let my dad make me a coffee, he'd been wanting to do that for so long. And I'd been so like jealous, not even jealous, just like upset that I couldn't join in. But then my brain wouldn't let me be upset because like I didn't want to gain weight by apparently drinking a milky coffee, which is never gonna happen. That was like a revelation because I remember like I kind of had this weird obsession with like buying everyone else food and what have you eaten like what have you had for dinner what's it like being really like over the top about like wanting to know what everyone else is eating or like wanting everyone to eat um I know it's an anorexic thing but like it doesn't make any sense that was a big moment That felt like definitely like a start of something. It's, it's so it's so weird to watch these back because I do remember how I actually like felt in those moments and it's odd. Okay, this one has 3.4 million views. All in anorexia recovery, what I eat in a day. What I eat in a day recovering from anorexia. I felt so strong today. I pushed myself so hard and I think I smashed it. I started with a cup of tea and had Weetabix and honey. I increased my breakfast and challenged myself to toast with marmalade. I ate toast with marmalade this morning. Something I haven't had since I was quite young. For snack, I had an oat milk latte and an apple. And this was so funny. That's not... Mm, it's just not really a snack, is it? Also, when I was making myself an oat milk latte, I was actually heating up oat milk in the microwave and putting instant coffee in it, like, it's a bit shit. But also, the, the chopping up of the apple, oh my god, like, when I just started eating apples normally, my life improved a lot. Like, it's so much effort. And also, then you have to wash up a chopping board and a knife. And a bowl, just to eat an apple. <laughs> egg and my garlic mushrooms on toast. And the poached egg. Read that. Perfect. And then I had a yogurt. B. I miss her so much. I challenged myself and I had hobnobs for snack. I'm gonna keep challenging biscuits till I'm not scared of them. Hobnobs with chocolate on. Oh, where it's at. Dinner was a beetroot burger, sweet corn, and sweet potato. I'm proud of um, past me for for managing to challenge 
these fears but um i do genuinely think if i ate that now i would be severely unhappy that looks dry despite all the guilt i ate it all for night snack i challenged this i actually did so good i genuinely did finish everything i showed as well like i did not leave a single thing i did so well at kicking anorexia up the ass today lots of guilt but i ate through it all and i'm determined to keep gaining weight and get healthy i did it i literally did it okay this next one has 4.3 million views i'm recovering from anorexia and when my plans with food go wrong my head literally just tells me not to eat it's my birthday tomorrow and i really wanted to challenge myself so we ordered a subway <sighs> the story behind this right we went all the way into town but it was locked down um all like easing out of lockdown but anyway we went to get prep because prep's like my favorite thing and i was like really excited to get to prep and then we went into town and prep was just shut and i had a meltdown so we we got subway but again i was scared of a lot of stuff on the menu and then they'd put seeds on a bun which were really big for food it was already really scary because i hadn't prepared it but then it arrived and it had seeds on it and they're literally such a big fear of i remember literally crying oh it's so sad for me to watch mine my head just told me to skip lunch and it was like the perfect excuse to I did try, I had a few bites, but it was just too hard, and that's okay, sometimes it is too It makes me so sad, because, th I mean, that subway was shit, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, that subway was shit, because I just put veg and, like, sweet chilli sauce in it, rancid, but... Hard. But it doesn't mean that you get to restrict. The fact that I could genuinely cry over, like, seeded bread, because I don't cry over, like, fear foods anymore. I might mentally struggle, but it does not evoke that kind of reaction in me. I knew a few bites of a sandwich wasn't enough. So I turned everything around and I fought all the urges to restrict, and I made myself a scary lunch. I fried vegetarian bacon in oil and I put it in a sandwich. I do respect past me for this, like, I had a meltdown over something that was scary, so I made something else that was scary but felt a little bit more manageable. Even if anorexia is being so loud in your head that you know physically it's going to make you worse to challenge that one thing in that moment, go for something else to challenge. Like I still think that's a solid way to be. Sandwich with ketchup. I wanted to skip lunch so bad but I'm learning that if you don't challenge yourself nothing is ever going to change. This is true. If you do not challenge it, it's never going to change. This is really annoying because I had an eating my first birthday cake video and they removed my sound. So I can't actually watch it. But that had 1.7 million views. And the next one is my biggest TikTok, which is what I eat in a day on my 19th birthday. And it has 9.6 million views. What I eat in a day all in anorexia recovery on my 19th birthday started the day really early. The picture of me blowing out the candles on my cake is actually still my youtube profile picture the only reason i haven't changed it yet is because i don't want to keep changing it and i just don't have the right picture for it yet but i will change it soon because i know i'm not the same girl anymore with presents and avocado and poached egg on toast <laughs> breakfast at 5 30 a.m this was the best i've done with food in this this is making me want to cry why is this so emotional i don't i don't know life is going to be so beautiful it it is. It's not going to be easy, but it is going to be beautiful. Like, this, the position I'm in now is crazily different, and I could never have predicted that. Literally four years. A snack was an apple and a coffee made by my dad. Oh my god, lunch was a sausage sandwich with ketchup. My childhood favourite thing. I haven't had a sausage sandwich in the longest time. They're literally my thing. And an Alpro yoghurt. And then it was time for birthday cake. The most challenging thing I've done, but honestly, it was amazing. This was huge for me because I was like, cake was like one of the highest foods on my like fear food list, and I hadn't challenged like any of the other ones because um, my therapist at the time was trying to make me do like a hierarchy and like go up and up and up. And then, no offense, Miss Therapist, if you're watching this, he was like, I want you to have that birthday cake, like, you need to have that birthday cake. So I was like, right, it's a therapy thing, like, I have this birthday cake, and like. I pushed myself so hard and I did it, but I did it before all of my family's birthdays, which meant I could then join in with them. But anyway, the whole therapist thing was he just forgot that he'd even told me to, so then we never talked it through. But you know what? It made me stronger and I was very, very proud of myself. It was a very emotional moment. I felt guilt about eating unhealthily today, but in reality, if it's helping me recover, then it is healthy. Me and my mum cooked a mushroom and herb pasta. We had some Prosecco while we were making it to celebrate. I haven't had alcohol in forever. 
I literally challenge myself all day and this sort That pasta does ban. I, d I do rate that pasta. It's had olive oil and natural yogurt in it. And obviously pasta, which scares me. But my family loved it and so did I. It was amazing. And then I- It's not scary. Pasta is not scary. Again, just a carb. And I know that carbs are often scary, but it is just fuel. Also, you need carbs. You cannot survive without carbs. They're energy. I had an Oreo for the first time and some biscuits. Recovery made this the best day. <laughs> what the fuck? See, that's crazy. I haven't, I haven't watched that back in a long time. But that's, that's emotional. Okay, the next one is eating a full day of fear foods that I did on TikTok. I'm interested to see what these fear foods are because I bet you they are not what my fear foods are now. Hi, I'm Ro. I'm recovering from anorexia and today I faced a fear food at every meal or snack. Breakfast was frosted shreddies, blueberries and oat milk. I always feel guilty for saying I'm proud of myself, but today I did actually smash it and I really am proud of myself. I haven't let myself have Biscoff or crumpets in the longest time. And I've never actually had them together, but oh my god. I do remember sugary, sugary cereal being like a big fit for me for a long time though. God, it was so nice. Biscoff and crumpets. Eat that like very often now. Not gonna lie, I still get food guilt. I do still get food guilt, but I wouldn't stop myself from having something because of that. A few weeks ago, I faced my followers fear foods for a day and it really helped me. So I thought I'd level it up and do my own. Snack was a salted caramel hobnob bar. Even the flavor of chocolate is something I really fear. Flavor of chocolate scaring me is insane to me. Like you're scared of a flavor. That means, it means nothing. There's no like different nutritional value because the flavor, like that's intense. So that was a massive win. For lunch, I faced my fear of avocado again because even though I've done it many times, I'm still scared of it. You have to keep challenging your fears to fully get over them. Also, I had apples throughout the day. <laughs> I haven't faced hummus since I first had it, so I made my own. If you'd have told me three months ago I'd be doing this, I'd have never believed you. Dinner was a I remember like really not wanting to finish it, but my parents being like, no, like we need to. Vegetarian chicken stir fry with rice. Okay, the next biggest one is 894,000 views. I feel like this is gonna make me potentially cry. But then I realized you can't not care about things you actually care about. And even though I'm in pain, it's worth sticking around to maybe make my little corner of the world a slightly better place. I really hope I have made my little corner of the world a slightly better place. And I'm very glad that I stuck around. <laughs> a week ago today, I stopped calorie counting. Five years of counting calories, I've completely stopped. You know, I got a hell of a lot of comments on this that were like, like surely mentally your head's just a calorie calculator. And yeah, it was, like it, it was, I still, looked at things and was like this is this many calories but i would refuse to let myself add them up like i i just stopped letting myself add them up because obviously you have, you have to you can't unconsciously add calories up you can unconsciously know what they are but you can't unconsciously do the maths so that's what i meant so i've not been calorie counting for over a year but the final biggest one it says 1.1 million views i don't want to give up Just because it burns doesn't mean you're gonna die. You've gotta get up and try, try, try. Genuinely, I feel so much for that version of myself, for that like slightly younger, like deeper in anorexia version of myself. I feel for her so much. I wish I could go back and let her know that everything is gonna be fine and like everything is gonna be okay. And if you keep going, things are gonna get so much easier and you won't regret it. I don't know, that was that was emotional really. I think it's very interesting to see my old TikToks and actually see how I was reacting to things. And like now, like I just don't feel the same guilt. I don't feel the same anxiety. I don't shake. I don't cry over it. I've come so far and that has really shown that to me. And actually like, I, I don't see myself as the same girl that I was there, which is like such a big part of it. It's like, I know it was me, but it's also painful that it was me.
if that makes sense but anyway i'm gonna end the video here i hope you enjoyed it i don't know if it's the sort of video that people would like enjoy but like i hope you find it interesting remember to be kind to yourself remember that you deserve to eat i will link my instagram in the description and if you'd like me to like react to my first youtube video that viral one um maybe give this a thumbs up and even if you don't maybe give it a thumbs up <laughs> and please subscribe anyways i will see you all soon i love you lots